What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P. Joe P's up here back with another Betting Pros Top 10 video for NFL Week 6. And hopefully, you listened to Friday's show when I told you to bet that ladder all the way up on the rushing total of Devon H. Hand, because if you did, along with me, you made a lot of money. It's sad, though, we're not going to see Devon H. Hand for a few weeks. But that's okay. We've got a lot of other games, a lot of other players to wager on. And we're going to break them down for you right now. Before we do, just a reminder, we're giving away free stuff here, as always, on the Betting Pros channel. So subscribe, drop a comment below. Tell me what you're betting on in week six of the NFL. And you just might win an Odell Beckham jersey autographed by Odell Beckham himself. Heck, he doesn't need this thing. He hardly uses it to play. So we might as well give it to you here because we love you here at Betting Pros. So again, turn that little notifications bell on till it goes ding. Drop the comment, subscribe to the channel. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So without further ado, Let's get to the top 10 picks of week six in the NFL. Let us begin week six across the pond in London for a neutral site game. The Tennessee Titans will host in air quotes, the Baltimore Ravens, but give me the under in this one, 41 and a half minus 110 over at bet MGM. These London games tend to be a little disappointing in terms of totals. I think the travel takes a soul on these teams and these are two offenses. They really can't seem to get out of their own way right now. The Baltimore Ravens run attack hasn't gone very well. They want to run the football. They can't. The Tennessee Titans stop just about everybody from running the football. And the Baltimore Ravens are having trouble catching the ball if you saw anything happening in Pittsburgh. So you couple those things together along with the Tennessee Titans offense right now with Ryan Tannehill looking like he's throwing softballs out there. He does not look good. I think this 41 and a half under is pretty safe. So take it over at BetMGM at the minus 110 and thank me later. Number nine for week six, we've got the Carolina Panthers at the Miami Dolphins, minus 13 and a half at minus 108. You can get this number over on FanDuel. And I know what you're saying, Joe, this is a very big number again for the Miami Dolphins and they're already Devon a chain less for this game. But I will say this, just like last week when I took the giant number on the Dolphins, it did not disappoint. And I don't think it's going to disappoint this week. They are at home. I think this number might even grow in the days ahead. And the Carolina Panthers offense cannot catch up. They cannot throw the ball deep. They've struggled to really open up this offense with Bryce Young for a myriad of reasons. So at this point, I think the two touchdown lead is pretty safe for the Miami Dolphins. Remember, they've still got Jalen Waddle. They still got Tyreek Hill. They've still got Tua and they've got enough running backs to get the job done with Mostert and a possible returning Jeffrey Wilson. So give me Miami with the minus 13 and a half points. Yes, it's a big number. I don't care. We're going for it two weeks in a row. Let's go. Number eight on our list this week. The Seattle and Cincinnati over 45 and a half is this number. You can get it at minus 108 over on DraftKings. The reason I'm going on this over is because I like what I saw out of Joe Burrow last week and not just from all the incredible catches and incredible connection with Jamar Chase, which we've learned to love, but also because you saw Joe Burrow more mobile in the pocket than he's been in quite some time. Maybe just maybe that calf is actually moving in the right direction. And if it is healing up, then the rest of the league better watch out. More on the Bengals to come later in this video, so stay tuned. Now, Seattle themselves are coming off a bye. They've been doing a good job of running the football with Ken Walker and Zach Charbonnet. Cincinnati still can't stop the run, so I think Seattle's going to do their part. I think they'll be prepared for this game. They're well-rested and healed up. Going against Cincinnati in Cincinnati, I think this one is going to absolutely crush this 45 and a half. So let's go over on that. Let's hope that Gino and Joe put on a show. Number seven on our list this week, give me the Indianapolis Colts with the points, plus four and a half on the road at minus 110 at MGM in Jacksonville. Now the Jaguars came out with a big victory last week. That's terrific. However, the Indianapolis Colts are that in-division matchup and these games always tend to play a little close, a little tight. This was a fun week one matchup that kept going back and forth. And I think it's gonna do that again in this one. Now I still think Jacksonville pulls out this victory but Indy's going to keep it close. Yes, Anthony Richardson is going to be out for the next few weeks, including this game. But Gardner Minshew is very capable in this Shane Steichen offense. He's very familiar with it. He has been a part of it for a few years. So I think Indy can hang here, especially getting Jonathan Taylor along with Zach Moss. Run the football, control the clock. And I think Indy keeps this one close enough to cover this four and a half. Number six for week six. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles minus six and a half. At minus 115 of FanDuel against the New York Jets on the road in Joyzy. Uh, look, the Philadelphia Eagles here are the superior football team on both sides of the ball. Yeah, that's right. I said it. 
I'm telling you right now, the New York Jets big victory in Denver was fun. We called it last week. In fact, Jets on the money line was on this video, but the love is short lived here because now you're facing an Eagles team that is just superior to the Jets. The Jets are going to have a hard time here with this front of Jalen Carter and company getting Zach Wilson to not be running for his life. That's a bad thing for this Jets offense. Jets defense is very good, but they're a little banged up too right now. I think the Eagles win this by more than a touchdown. So lock in this six and a half while you can get it because like the other number before earlier, I think this one might grow as time goes on this week. So lock that in up betting pros at FanDuel at minus 115 and enjoy an Eagles W go green. Not the Jets green, the Eagles green. You know what I mean. For number five, let's get spicy. The Chicago Bears at home on the money line, plus 124 over a FanDuel to beat the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, what a wretched year it's been for the Vikings. They can't catch a break. They can't catch a W. And now Justin Jefferson won't be catching passes for the next few weeks. Why? Because of a hamstring issue. So now they're down the best player on the planet there at wide receiver. And Minnesota's going to have to go on the road and figure things out. I'm worried this team is just going to have the wheels completely come off of it this week. The Chicago Bears have shown some signs of life here, and Justin Fields is starting to throw the ball and be a menace to society. That's a good thing here. I think we're giving a little too much credit to the Vikings. I think this number should be closer, so instead just give me the Bears to pull out the victory. I know this sounds a little crazy, because the Bears aren't a good football team either. They also struggle on defense. But Minnesota just seems to be falling, imploding on itself. And while that's happening, I want to make some money off of it. Speaking of kicking teams when they're down, let's step on the New England Patriots again this week. They are headed to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. And I'm going to take this minus three and a half number. I'm going to tease it to minus six and a half, get a plus 144 spot over on FanDuel and make some cash. This is what we did last week, right? We trolled the New England Patriots and the New Orleans Saints number. And guess what? It worked. So what are we doing again this week? We're going to do it a second time in a row. Why? Because the New England Patriots are averaging 11 points a game. Let me say that again. 11 points a game. You cannot function in the NFL or even hope to be competitive averaging 11 points a game. The defense has all sorts of injuries to the secondary. Matthew Judon, again, out this week is going to be out for possibly the year. They don't have a pass rush. They can't cover. And on top of all of that, Mac Jones and company just seem completely lost on offense. So they have a better chance of getting the number one overall pick, I think, than going anything close to being competitive this year. So the New England Patriots are a team right now that you control every single week, and I think you should until further notice. I know the Raiders aren't really exciting. They are coming off a big victory, though. Jimmy G, Josh McDaniels looking to beat up on their old bosses, and I think Las Vegas is a safe tease here. So again, give me the six and a half. Give me the plus 144. Give me the Las Vegas Raiders. Next on our list at number three, let's go for a player prop on Thursday Night Football. Isaiah Pacheco over 69 and a half rushing yards. You can get this number over at Bet Rivers and it's going to grow, but you're still going to take it anyway. I understand he's not the only guy to work in that backfield, but the Broncos have been epically bad so far in the first five weeks of the season. They have given up. I hope you're sitting down. 938 yards on the ground. That's almost a thousand yards in five weeks. That's absurd. And Isaiah Pacheco has looked really good running the football against the Jets defense and even last week as well. So I'm looking for Pacheco to go well over this 69 and a half number. In fact, you could probably bet this one up to the 80 or even 90 mark. Heck, why not go to 100 as well? Keep taking that plus money. But I think this one is a lock for Pacheco. Yes, it's a high number. Yes, it's a crowded backfield. I don't care. The tackling of the Denver Broncos is that embarrassing. So give me the Pacheco over rushing on Thursday night. Let's go. Do you like locks? No, not the kind that go with cream cheese on a bagel. I'm talking about locks in terms of picks, because if you do, I offer you the San Francisco 49ers at minus five, minus 110 over on DraftKings as they take on the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. I don't care how good the Cleveland Browns defense is. Yes, they are very good. I don't care if they're coming off a bye. Maybe they're a little rested. Deshaun Watson was not healthy two weeks ago, did not play. He was a scratch for a very important game. And now all of a sudden with a week off, he's going to be better and take on the San Francisco 49ers who just destroyed the Dallas Cowboys on primetime. Uh-uh, I'm not buying it. I don't know why this number is only minus five. I don't care if there's travel. I don't care if it's a short week for the 49ers. I just don't care. 
I think the 49ers are the class of the NFC right now, along with the Philadelphia Eagles. So give me the Niners with that minus five. I think as people have more time to think about this and bet it, that it's going to change. So lock it in early, folks. And number one this week, it's time to take advantage of the market. Let's bet the Cincinnati Bengals at plus 500 to win the AFC North. And you can get this plus 500 over at Caesars right now. The AFC North is like a division that can't get out of its own way. Nick Chubb is gone. Deshaun Watson hasn't played well. The Steelers and Ravens looked like a crap fest last week. And that leaves us with who? The Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow, the team that, you know, keeps winning this division the last few years and keeps starting slow. This is a unique opportunity to get a favorite going into the season to win this division at a much better number. So if Cincinnati can win this week against Seattle, I tell you this number is going to drop from plus 500 to somewhere around plus 350, if not more. The Cincinnati Bengals are in a unique value spot right now, so jump on it while you can because I don't think it will last. And frankly, I am unimpressed by the rest of this division. I know the Bengals haven't been impressive either, but they've also been injured. So if they can get healthy and continue to get in the right track here with Joe Burrow and now returning Trey Hendrickson on the edge, sacking quarterbacks, I like the Bengals to win this division at plus 500. There you have it, everybody. Those are the things I'm in on for week six in the NFL. What are you in on at week six? Let me know. Drop your comments below. What are the picks that you are making for week six in the NFL? And also, if you're making picks, you might as well go to our NFL contest, bettingpros.com slash NFL contest, because if you do, you just might win a Jackson Smith and Jigba jersey or betting pros swag, hats, t-shirts, or even upgrades to our premium betting pros products. So do that right now. Again, download the betting pros app, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel. You just might win an Odell Beckham jersey. That'll do it for us. But the story of the game goes on. I'll see you next time, kids. Enjoy week six in the NFL.